Now, before we talk about whether or not you think United are in the tie race and on for the quadruple, let's ever so quickly have a look back at last night's. I thought it was a wonderful performance, actually. It could have gone... I mean, you said on air last night, you know, I hope you get smashed. There was a part of me that thought, going to the new camp, Barcelona flying at the moment. It's going yeah. to be a real difficult game. But I thought United were the better side. I thought they were fantastic. He played well. I mean, fantastic is probably... Look at him. Fantastic oh, is a bit yeah, of a... Well. No, no, they, they, United listen, were fantastic. Every time United get a oh, decent result, you come on here and go, they were fantastic. Well, they were. Come on, you've got to give them their due. They no, no, were. Listen, they played well. I'm going to get carried away. You weren't fantastic, but they played well. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fantastic. You played well. Oh, we played fantastic. No, you played well. And listen, rightly so, you went there. I didn't think you'd get anything. You did. Um, there were some good performances there. there were a few ropey moments. Um, but it's a really good... European night of football, I'd have to say. And well, Rashford again, another goal. What about Val going in um yeah. in the field? I mean, Eric Ten you got Pat on the back for that, right? Yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I went, what, what's going on here? But fair play to him. And I, I really like Ten Hag, and I've said it before. He He's what worries me in terms of the top of the table. Now, Manchester United, we're going to speak about it. Are they in the title race? I believe they are. And they're only five points of it, so I think they are in it. But he's what worries me, because the way he talks and how clever he is and what he's done in such a short space of time at United... It's slightly concerning. Mm. It's a short thought... space of time. You have got to remember that actually. Exactly, but what he's done, the way the, the mindset that he's changed, what he's done for Marcus Rashford, um, the way what the team looks now, how he's getting players to play really well. Um, Varane before Ten Hag got there, all these injuries. Now he, he seems like he's fit most of the time. Um, yeah, I, I listen. What he's doing, creating down there, is concerning. Uh, last season, Liverpool played sixty-three games. They got to every final. They played every game possible to them. Sixty-three games. And I, I just wonder now, when you look at the league table, Liverpool. We know they're struggling for a bit. Form their ninth. West Ham had a really good cup run last season. Mm. You know they're struggling as well. I just wonder if for Manchester United, or from their perspective, if fighting on all four fronts. Could it come back to bite them on the backside? Do you think it could be a bit of a problem or not? Well, it depends how far you get in all the competitions. I mean, you're already in one cup final. If you if it goes down to the wire, and the, well, you got to play 38 games regardless whether it goes to the wire or not. Mm -hmm. So you plan all your Premier League games. The FA Cup, you still in it. If you go to the final of that, and then you've got the Europa League, which I feel like you play that many games in that competition as well, then yeah, fatigue next season might kick in. Now, it's a lot of games. Liverpool, I think, have got a little bit of hangover as well as losing some of their key players as well. Well, Sadio Mane's probably the biggest... Mm -hmm loss that they made but there's only certain, I think there's only certain clubs out there and I think Manchester City are probably one of the only ones and maybe Chelsea now um, that have got the, the squad to compete on the new depth, fronts the, the depth because yeah. you look at Manchester City squad they have got players upon players in their squad and even Chelsea now I know he's not quite got it right uh, yet but when you look at the squad that they've got they've got two players for every position as well other mm. than centre forward actually Apart from, that. Yeah, apart from that but apart from the most important yeah so um, but, but from United's pers perspective they'll want to be fighting on all four fronts right yeah because you want to you win every competition that you're in mm. I, I can never understand when you get some people that say you know what we're not really fussed about that competition like, we'll, we'll prioritise this because it doesn't always work that you, you want to be fighting all the way to the very end if you can pick up something even if you finish top four and you can win the league cup against Newcastle that's still a good season you're still better off than where you were last year mm. are, you, are you surprised at Manchester United where they are now yeah because at the start of the season you were shambles Right. And when you look at where... <laughs> Wait, you say that. Well, you, you got beat at Brighton and beat at oh, Brentford. Okay, all right. I'm just giving you some, give you some context. <laughs> so, but now, when you look at them now... But that game last night, right? You didn't watch it with us. We were all in the pub, mm -hmm. right? But you watched the game, I know that. Yeah. What At the end of it, were you like, oh, wow. Because I thought United would win it. Yeah. But Barcelona yeah. looked vulnerable. Yeah, they times. did. I mean, the goalkeeper did. for Rashford's goal. See, you said this. I know, you, I know you're saying a goalkeeper should never get beat is near post. Um, I get that. But... No, no, no. I just thought it was a phenomenal goal. No. Take nothing away from Rashford's no. strike. He, he found a gap that wasn't Andy, even there. listen to me. It was a, it was a good goal from no, Rashford. Stegen will be devastated, I know that. Devastated? A goalkeeper should never be beaten from I there. I know, but that was so tight. Andy, if, if that was the other way around, you would have said... It's not the other the way around, is it? Yeah, the hair's got to save that. <laughs> you say, your goalkeeper... If That's the, Ramsdale, obviously. If, if the hair lets that in... Yeah, he won't, though. No, but you say he's got to do better with that. Yeah, I know, but I thought it was a great finish. I thought United no. were brilliant. No, no well, that's Fred, by the way. You played well. Got better marks than De Jong. Yeah, no, he's got he's got to um he's got to score that. He's got to save that. The Ter Stegen, I don't care what he says, a keeper of that quality has to save that. But Rashford again, at, at the minute, he looks unstoppable mm. for the second goal. Just everything, his build, his speed, his pace, his he ran, awareness. He ran past Rafinha like he wasn't there. Yeah, and then obviously rolled it across the box and couldn't they score the goal? Is he Man United's most important player? We talk about Casemiro. We talk about Bruno Fernandes as well. I think he's up there. I think him and Casemiro are the two. Who, who's the one you take out of that team and you go, mm, I worry about? <sighs> it's such a difficult one. at the Because everyone's Casemiro, Casemiro, but you've shown you can cope without him. I think Rashford... Well, I we have. We played you and we lost. Yeah, but what do you expect? We're better than you. That's why we beat you. I would probably still go Casemiro, you know. 
Yeah, he's the most important player yeah. United have got yeah, at the moment. Take so. him out in this trouble. But then again, goals win games. No, you know what? I'm a centre forward. I was a centre forward. I'm yeah. going Rashford. Okay. All right. Go on, Rashi. So there you go. There's one of the questions. Who's the most important player to Manchester United? We're also going to ask. Who do you ask, think? Um, I, I mean, I mean, Casemiro speaks for itself. You take him out, we struggle, right? So you think Casemiro? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think because if you take if you take Rashford out, if you're playing Rashford on the left. You, you've got Sancho, you've got Garnacho, yeah, you've got but, options. Yeah, but, they, but you yeah, haven't got their outputs. Not like Rashford's. no, no. But you have. We haven't got cover for Casemiro. McFred. Yeah, we haven't got cover okay. for Casemiro. Listen, Fred was fantastic. Yeah. I like Scott McTominay. I think he's done right for a while but, now. But neither of them, neither of oh, them. Casemiro. Yeah. Yeah. I hear well, that. I think who was it yesterday? Was it Paul Scholes that said that Casemiro? It might have been. I can't remember. But it said he's the closest thing he's seen to to Roy Keane. Wow. Okay. That's some compliment. Yeah. That. Yeah. Big time. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.